Welcome, welcome to our first tutorial on Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is a, this is a series of 12 lessons, uh, all targeted towards Fusion, starting from the beginning up to a more advanced techniques. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are basically going to work on this footage right here. And okay, so let's get started. Here on the edit page, I can just uh, move my playhead towards one of the clips and then just go to Fusion, and it automatically opens up the page for us. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to um, work. I like to work on uh, just one viewer rather than two, uh, but you are free to uh, do as you um, whatever you're more comfortable with. Okay, first thing, let's rename our Media One node here, and we are going to uh, rename it to. Uh, Let's call it actress. Okay, awesome. So now, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add a um, color correction node here, and I'm going to change the range, the shadows towards the blue here. Then I am going to change the midtones towards around, around here, and then the highlights towards yellow, right there. Okay. Awesome. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is to add a brightness and contrast node here. And I'm going to take the gamma down to about 0.5. Great. And now the image is substantially darker. Great. Now we're going to add a ellipse to it. And now let's extend this a little bit to about there. Okay. About something like that should work okay and that yeah that should do it awesome so now let's invert that and let's add a soft edge and now we have something really nice okay great uh, next thing I'm gonna do is to add some elements here at the media pool I'm gonna add my HUD element and my glass element here and let's close the media pool and then Let's start renaming this thing so we keep everything organized. So this is my HUD. So right click on it, then rename it accordingly. HUD element. And then we have this other is our glass. Awesome. Okay, now that we have that, let's connect our HUD to here. And we get something here. Now we are looking at the image. It's it's first thing I notice here is that it's it's cropping off a little bit. So next thing I'm gonna add is actually a transform node, and I am going to change definitely the size of it to about here, and then I am going to move it to about here. That's how I like it. Okay, so much much better now, uh, definitely. Um, but still, it does not yet look. Um, it, we need to blend it in, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is actually add a uh, defocus, which is down here, awesome. And then I am going to take the bloom level all the way down. And that's already getting the look right there. So if we click on our defocus here, this is the before, this is the after much 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 better okay next thing I'm gonna add is actually a um, prism blur over here and there we go now our image definitely it's blending in much much better the HUD looks much realistic much more realistic uh, and I am also going to add a um, just to give it a more uh, old school kind of HUD uh, look, uh, we are going to add scan lines as well. And on scan lines here, I'm gonna change the line frequency to about 11, okay? And you can see that that really does uh, sell the effect much better. And then now we are going to take this here, okay? And to connect it, holding shift, we connect it into our uh, node tree here, okay? Awesome. And now what I'm going to do, it's like extend this a little bit. And let me do the same with this nodes here. So we can make some space, something like something like that. Let's connect our glass element now to our merge node. And now this does not have an alpha channel. We can always confirm by clicking here, like our HUD did. So uh, 
do to uh, blend that in we have to change the apply mode from normal to screen and I'm going to change also the blend to half so 0.5 okay and now it blends much better or it blends in a little better uh, we're gonna take our defocus as well and I am going to copy that and paste it underneath our glass and then I'm gonna do the same with the prism blur under our glass as well and now we start having a bit of a better look uh, much more blended in okay so great and now we have that uh, next thing I want to do is actually add some let's add some text to it so let me zoom out a little bit you can see we add more and more nodes so we need to make a little bit of space I like to stay really organized I'm gonna get the text node here bring it in and then we're gonna type uh, we're gonna type uh, word warning warning here Okay, perfect. And now uh, nothing is happening. That's because we need to connect our nodes. So I'm going to take the text, attach it here, and we get a merged uh, there. First thing I'm going to do is actually change the size to point, point one, uh, well, a little bigger than one. Uh, and then let's move this to about here towards the center. And now we should have something pretty nice. Uh, I'm also going to change the uh, font, not the font, but from bold to regular here. So it's a little thinner. And then, uh, yep, it's, it's looking much, much better. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is to go on my shading. I want to change the color of it. So um, I'm going to make it like a deep red color, right? It's, it's kind of sells the effect better saying warning like that and then uh, I'm also going to add a glow around it so in the second element oh, here uh, I'm gonna go for like an orange glow here something a little yeah kind of like that that kind of color and on my softness I am going to take it the X to about five and same with Y to about five which should do it for us and then add a little bit of glow to it to about there Awesome. And last thing I'm going to do is to, so we change our color on the shading tab. We worked on our text, you know, we change it to regular, change, uh, as I said, the color, the size of it. Uh, perfect. Now, the only thing is that the HUD uh, for the character seeing the HUD would actually be uh, reversed. Like it would be uh, basically, we need to uh, go here on layout and actually rotate it around to 180 degrees. So, if we press on the Y rotation 180, now it is how um, we would view it from outside, but the character is actually seeing it the right way. So, uh, okay, awesome. So we got that. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is actually add a um, animation to this. So I'm gonna go here on the merge and on the blend here, I am going to start at frame 12, okay? Um, and on the blend, I'm gonna add a keyframe, take it to zero here, and then 10 frames forward 22 take our blend to one then 10 frames forward again take the blend back to zero so now we added three key frames and we started animating our uh, image so to show you that real quick we can see it right here so if i play the clip it's gonna click quickly load I mean not that quickly apparently but just to show you what's what's really happening and why we added those keyframes um, to to basically animate the text that's that's the whole point we want to really animate the text right so you can see it's animating now okay but now this is only working for these three things and it's not really doing it for uh, the whole comp so we have to do it for the whole comp in order to do that uh, I am actually going to uh, go here on my spline editor and we can close the node here just to make some space click on merge now we if we press command F we have the whole view or you can just command and then scroll out to kind of have the whole uh, view of the spline editor then command A we can it's either way you can either select everything like that or you can press command A to select everything then I am going to add a step in and then I am going to um, set a loop right and then on here on the shape box I want to basically want the animation to go a little bit faster okay maybe even a little bit faster okay just like that and now once we animate the the our animation it's going to be much faster than it was okay because with the shape box we're really able to um, 
to to play a little bit with the speed of it okay and that helps me because it, it's more a dramatic kind of like popping in popping out text okay kind of like that now <laughs> this is kind of extreme but just you know just to show you what you can do so let's uh, open back up our notes and uh next thing i'm gonna do is actually uh add a um a glow we want to glow so let's move everything a little bit here and uh let's start renaming a few nodes so we don't get confused so this is our base color correction so this is base cc okay and then i am going to add a, another color correction here and i am going to call this um i'm going to call this red uh red light let's call it red light yeah uh cc okay uh perfect so and we got that and now let's take on our color wheel here let's all the way red okay and now what I want to do next is add a uh, ellipse tool over here and let's position it where we want it to be so I want to see the text so that I have an idea of where the text is In this case let me see right there okay perfect and now let me do make it a little smaller here and I can move it to about, I would say, here it works, okay? Even a little more, about there. Awesome. Now, the next thing I wanna do is actually, I want to uh, basically connect this red glow to the animation of the text. So basically, I want them to move seemingly, okay, together, right? In order to do that, we need to add a probe. So I'm gonna go back on the red light here on the strength, I'm gonna right click, modify with, and uh, probe it. Uh, now we're gonna go back on our modifier and take the uh, merge three where we added our keyframes, uh, and that's the image we want to probe from. And once we do that, now our, basically our text and um, ellipse tool that we added are going to move together. Now, nothing is happening. That's because we need to go back to our uh, red light here. Uh, you see that? Our, um, I'm gonna go back our red light here, okay? And then we need to see our modifier, okay? And then once we, we see this like green um, thing here, we can move it and now it has this is the image that you can see and move along with, okay? So now, if I play the clip, what you're gonna see is that the actual ellipse is moving in conjunction with the text, and that's what we want to add a glow to our character, or like a surface or anything, really. In this case, being the character in front of the HUD, that's where we're gonna add it to, okay? So now they're moving both in conjunction, okay? And, but now this is now blended in nicely, doesn't look that great. That's because we obviously need to, blend it in and we can do that by going back to our uh, ellipse here and really changing the soft, soft edge. I'm going to take it all the way up. Okay. And now once I play that, let's load it a little bit. Uh, it will basically blend in within the image. Right? So giving us a pretty good look and it's gonna load real quick, just take a few seconds, and there we go. And now the glow, it's working, and it's moving in, in conjunction with the text. Uh, another, an alternative way, if you want something a little bit more dramatic and uh, to really affect the whole environment here, I can also invert that to, in order to give us a much more uh, kind of dramatic and dynamic look also. So uh, you could do that as well. Uh, either way, you know, that looks kind of, it's really powerful actually. Um, and that could do, uh, just to show you the power of fusion and, you know, it's really up to your creativity and how creative you are with things. One last thing I want to do, uh, so we did all of this with less than, I would say, 20 nodes, right? Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 17 18, 19, so it's 19 nodes. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Um, awesome. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is actually uh, group those things together because you want to keep things organized in case you're working with somebody else or uh, in case, you know, there is a team or anything like that. So I'm going to add an underlay here and the underlay, we're going to um, rename it. Uh, first thing, I'm going to call this source. Okay, this is our source. 
here and just to make things clear you can um, also uh, set a color for it which it's not a bad idea so I'll make a navy so you could see um, you know the, the, it, it looks much better and, uh, and and you can kind of basically uh, divide things by color and that way you know you can just see things easier you know it's it's much easier to do that i'm going to add another one here on our uh, glass here so these are our glass effects so i can make it lime the color you can see that it changed and i can rename it to uh i can call this uh glass <laughs> creatively enough uh glass fx okay uh since those are all the effects for our glass uh can move this a little bit on the side here and then i can take all my HUD element uh, FX here that we created, right? And then draw a rectangle around this as well and add an underlay here as well. And now we can see that we have that as well with an underlay. Uh, once again, uh, I can right click here. I can rename this to, uh, surprisingly enough, HUD <laughs> FX, okay? And then, um, yeah, it looks good. So actually, let me change the color of this as well. Uh, I'm gonna set a color to be violet, okay? Now, you can see that everything is much more organized now and it looks pretty good, okay? So now, one last thing, it's why would you wanna do this? First of all, to kind of recognize all um, your, your nodes, right? Your, your node trees here and kind of have some separation. And also, there is a quick little nifty uh, tool here so if you know if you zoom in too much you can see we have this like almost like it's like a, a map mini map here that you can go around throughout your uh, comp here but there is also another feature if you go here down here and you play some glass effects here it takes you to a glass right those three dots if you click it again and you want the source it takes you to the source right if you want to go on your um, HUD it takes you to your HUD right so this is really really um, useful now, last thing, next last thing you want to do every time you finish a project, make sure please to save. So command S to save, and that was our first tutorial for uh, for this uh, our lesson one. The next lesson we are going to do something very common, especially if you're working uh, film. So that is split screens okay i have two methods to show you so it's going to be two separate videos okay and i will see you on the next one on lesson two of fusion side of resolve see you then